Yo, what's up guys, and this is a tutorial on how to install World Edit, and I'm going to be showing you how to use the commands, and this plugin is very complicated, yet it can do a lot. So the first thing we're going to do is click download, and click download again. It will download this World Edit folder. You can go ahead and open it and drag just the world edit you don't need anything else just the world edit plugin into your plugins folder so I'll do that now and I already have it so I'm just gonna copy and replace alright see it's right there world edit so the next thing you wanna do is restart your server I won't wait for that to look. Also, just to note that this is for 1.3.2. So after you've restarted your server, go ahead and, and log into Minecraft. Once you're on Minecraft, I'm going to show you how to use World Edit and what command, what these certain commands do. Well, So the first thing with World Edit, it gives you the power to select a certain area, and you can select that area and change the blocks. You can expand it, make it bigger, make it small. You can make walls, and it's just with a command instead of stacking up, and that'll take like an hour just to build a tall tower. Well, with this, it only takes about two minutes. So what you'll need to select the blocks with is a wooden axe, so type in slash 1 to get that. And as you see, it says left click to select position 1, right click to select position 2. So imagine is imagine like okay, we're going to make a gold platform. You want to select it by corners. So this corner first and however where else you want it select the next corner. And imagine between those corners all those blocks were selected to get to the other corner. So we'll watch it change. And to change the block you do slash slash set and you type in the block ID. So let's say gold block. And it will change all those blocks that were in that region that I selected. So let's see, if I want to just change a strip of this, you select one corner and then the other of the region that you want to change. So let's say slash set wood plank. There you go. It just changed that region that I selected. So another helpful command is slash slash walls, and I'll show you how to use that. First you want to have a corner and you want to have it the height of that's going to be your wall. So what you want to do is you want to select the top of the wall that you're going to make and take it to another corner opposite from it and take it to the lowest part and do slash slash walls and the item ID you want it out of. So let's have stone walls. And see, it just made walls out of the region I just selected. Alright, now I'll show you how to move something. And to actually move it means that this is going to disappear and it's going to go somewhere else. So select that region that you want. So I'm going to select these two corners, which I just did. Type in slash move. How many blocks you want it to move. So I want it to move 10 blocks. In which direction? Up, down, left, or right? So let's say right. And there it is. It just moved 10 blocks. So... Now let's try moving it up.
Uh, okay. Oh, because it still has that selected region back there. Alright. Gotta select a new region, because it's actually right here. And then try it. So, move 10 up. And there we go. Okay, and shift actually keeps it where it's at. And it moves the region, not the blocks, the region, wherever direction you move it in. So let's try. So that's a shift. How many blocks? 10 to the left. So it didn't actually move this, it just moved the selection to the left, 10 blocks. So to show you where it's at right now, it's invisible until you actually change it to a new block because it's just a selection right now. So let's change it to wood and it, it appears because I've changed it. The shift is a little bit confusing. Move, not too much. Alright, now I'm going to show you what happens if you mess up. Let's say you actually didn't realize you clicked that or selected a region and now you just changed everything to stone. Oops. Slash slash set stone. Alright there. You're like, oh shoot, I didn't want all of this here. So you just made a big mistake and you ruined your land on your server. So if you wanted to fix that, you do slash slash undo. If you've undone something that you didn't want to do, just do redo and it'll come back up. Alright, now I'm going to show you how to copy and paste. When you copy something, you want to be facing the direction it will end up in. So, let me show you what I'm talking about. And how far away you are. So, let's say I copied it and I'm one block away from where it's at. Then, it will pop up one block away from where I pasted it. So, let me show you what I mean. I'm going to stand one block in front of it. I'm going to select the region. And I'm going to do slash slash copy. That will copy exactly where I'm standing at. So if I want to move over and I back up, it's not going to be aligned with it because I'm right behind it. See? And it pasted from one block where I was standing at. And notice how I was standing in the middle over there and I was standing in the middle over there. If you weren't standing in the middle, if you're standing far away from it, then that's where it's going to paste it at. Let's copy this one and paste this one. And see? The similarities. So let's say I want it in a different direction. I want it over here. You just do the same thing. And as you can see, it's still pasted in that same direction. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to rotate it. So rotate. Let's see what that is. 90, I'm guessing. And then you paste the new one that you want. And there it is in the direction I want it in. Alright, let's say I want to I don't want it here anymore. I just want to completely move it to somewhere else. So, slash that's cut. It's gone. Now I'm going to have to paste it. And I want it facing in the direction behind me. It's going to do rotate before I paste it. Rotate 180. And then paste it. There it is. It's not in that direction anymore. It's in this one. And a simple trick with World Edit. You can remove a block ID in a certain area. So what if I wanted to remove all of this, but I didn't feel like selecting every single one. Then I do slash remove near and hit the block ID and the radius. The radius is pretty much where you're standing and the area, the blocks are like around you. So the radius from where I'm at and three blocks up, that's a radius of three. So let's say 25. Oh, I forgot. Okay, replace.
place near. Size 25. Let's replace it with gold blocks. So after you select the radius, you do the from what you want to replace, which I want to replace wood, to what I want now. So gold block. And voila. All of it in the radius of 25 blocks has been replaced to gold. It's pretty cool. Now I just want to remove all of it. So you want to hit you want to type in slash remove there, not replace, remove gold block, and then the radius of it. So let me do 25. Now all gold blocks in the radius of 25 is gone. Alright, so that's it for today's tutorial. And please like this video if it helped, and subscribe. And also comment down what plugin I should do a tutorial on next. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.